What's going on everyone? This is Max coming back at you once again with a, another video. This time I'm doing a video of how to upgrade, well, update your Samsung Odyssey G7 monitor. But before we go ahead and go into that, if you guys can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, I greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get that out the way and let's talk about the Samsung Odyssey latest firmware update. So uh, looking at the Samsung website itself for the Odyssey G7 gaming monitor, you see right here that they just did a update on their site for uh, November 2nd, which is today and 2020 to version 1009.3. If you click on the question right here for the firmware, it said 4K re uh, resolution support and image picture quality. So if you, if anyone has or haven't uh, done a firmware update on their Odyssey G7, this is how you do it. You go to the Samsung website, go ahead and uh, follow the manual, go to the manuals and downloads, and then at the bottom of it, you'll see here download. So what you go ahead and do is uh, you do your USB, uh, USB memory stick, uh, and you plug it up to your PC or Mac in this case, and then you go ahead and press download. Once you download, you go ahead and uh, switch it out to your monitor. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and do is switch from the site and then switch to the monitor and show you guys how to update the actual firmware. Okay, so I went ahead and switched to my iPhone just to show you guys how to do a firmware update. But first, let me go ahead and show you the current version of the monitor. So you're gonna see me, see my hand here. So just go to the menu. When you go to the middle menu right here, you go ahead and go to support. Once you hit support, you'll see a software update. For the software update, you'll see the current version that I have right now is 1007.1, and you'll get the information right here. So what I'm gonna show you guys is how to hook up your USB device with the latest software. So once you do that, you just click this, and then it asks you a question. You can clearly see right here, no USB device detected. Detect it, excuse me, I can't even talk right now. Detect it please check and try again. So, so you see right now, uh, that's how you get to the software update. Uh, just to show you guys what the latest firmware update is, is supposed to be no flicker, uh, flicker free. And I think what Samsung ended up adding is uh, VRR, variable refresh rate, where you have to have that enabled uh, to resolve the flickering. So I think you believe you see that into systems and then you'll see that information. So let me go ahead and just show you the uh, before and after pictures. So you see a free sync. I have, I have this currently off right now, but uh, I'm about to go ahead and enable it and show you the after effects. So let me go ahead and plug up the USB and show you guys where you need to plug that up at. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So you see right here, there's my USB device with the latest firmware update. So what you do here is, I wanna try to get a better, hopefully I can get a better picture. All right, so you guys can see under here that you have two uh, USB port. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in here. Which I know had a little bit of difficulty. All right, so you see that's installed right there. I'm about to go ahead and switch this back over to the camera. I mean, to the other side of the monitor so you show you exactly how to do the firmware update. But you see right there, the USB, the one that's closest to you, that's who you're supposed to plug it up to. It's really easy.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and switched back over after plugging up my USB. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to update this, which is very easy. So, just like I said, you go to support right there. You see software update. So I have the old version. It's detecting my USB device. You'll see here a new software version is available. Update from your version 1.007.1 to version 1.009.3. So you click yes. And you see it's gonna start to update the actual monitor itself. Okay, so this may take, hopefully it doesn't take that long. It's usually pretty quick, so just bear with me while everything is being updated. But once you uh, update the monitor, you usually see the monitor will cut off for a couple of seconds, and then the monitor will cut back on. Once it cuts back on, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the latest update is. Supposedly, they're supposed to have resolved the flickering issues on the monitor and uh, by adding an extra setting. I mean, so far on my monitor, I, I don't have an issue with flickering, but other people are still complaining about the flickering. So um, this is what Samsung did to fix it. And uh, let me go ahead and just show you in the settings what they did. So. And go from there okay the monitor just cut off and the monitor is back on okay let's go ahead and go through the settings and see exactly what was updated all right you might see my arm here so let's go through this Let's first see if we got the latest software update. So current version is 1.009.3. Uh, so we see that we have the latest firmware update. And then just, just to make sure if you try to do it again, Samsung was to say, what well, a monitor would just say software version of this device is later. The software version of the update file. Check the uh, software version of the updated file. Okay, so you press cancel in this case. So you go back to menu. So let's see here. Let's see where they have updated. Okay, so here we go. So uh, remember, I went to the settings before. It only had power LED on, and then it had standby. What Samsung has added is uh, the sync to GPU provided optimal gaming use. So what you have to do is you have to enable VRR control. Once you guys enable VRR control on here, then you'll be able to, you know, it's supposed to resolve the flickering, but like I said before, I didn't have any issues uh, with the monitor itself. Oops, let me go back to here. Just like I mentioned before, uh, on the VAR control, VRR control, it's supposed to uh, help with that. So, um, other than that, that's the latest firm, uh, latest update. Let me know if you guys have any questions uh, regards to this how-to tutorial. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, if you like this video, give me a, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you like to see more uh, informational stuff like this. All right. Thank you very much. I uh, hope everyone have a good one. Take care. All right, bye. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, just to give you another update. What I forgot to let you guys know here is, is that in the menu, I think I already showed you guys uh, in system, there is an extra setting of VR control. Uh, in the video when I was just trying to make my edit, uh, this here was highlighted in gray. And the reason why it was highlighted in gray is because I forgot to enable the free sync. 
So, so just to uh, give you guys a heads up, if you had the free sync uh, off, you cannot enable the VRR. So what you guys are gonna have to do is uh, turn this on. So once you turn this on, let me just show you guys, just for example. I'm just gonna go back and forth and show you the actual settings. Uh, wait till this monitor comes back on. Okay, so you see everything is off. So when you go to settings, and you go to the bottom, you see you you see the VRR. You probably can't really see it right now, but I'm trying to capture it on my iPhone, which you probably really can't see, guys. But just know that uh, VRR is grayed out right there. Yep, you see that VRR grayed out. So to enable it, go to uh, go to game, go to free sync, connect this to on. Take a second. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay, so free sync is on. Go back to system. Go back here. You see VR is all in um, blue now. Now you can see this is on. You can turn it off. Let's just turn it off for one second. Okay, so you see this is off. So let's turn this back on. And there you go. So uh, if you guys uh, had a chance to update the monitor, uh, you have to turn on FreeSync. Once you turn on FreeSync, you'll see there's an extra setting in version one, uh, 1009 where they added VRR control. So uh, once you enable the free sync, you will be able to toggle this on and off. So I will tell you guys to keep this on. Uh, so for people who are saying that they see flickering, with uh, flickering, but on my mind there, I don't see flickering, but uh, just in case, uh, keep this on and you should be good to go. Uh, and you should have no issues whatsoever. But if you do, uh, just leave a comment, leave a question, and uh, I do the best that I can to answer all your guys' questions. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you in the uh, earlier video, I'll go ahead and throw on the Samsung uh, link to show you guys uh, exactly where to look for in the firmware update. Okay, uh, hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Thank you.